We're into part two of the CNN saga now. This is the time skip. We've leapt forward a few days and now I'm stronger, smarter, and more handsome than ever. Fangirls are going to start writing tales of how me and a friend are in an intense homosexual relationship just because we've hugged each other in public before. And fanboys are going to go the much more reasonable route and start commissioning pornographic pictures of myself. Since this is technically the second part of my news network can't possibly be this cute CNN and the fight for freedom of factual information, I'd recommend you watch my original video on the topic to catch up to speed if you have no idea what's going on, and are actually embarrassing enough to admit that you didn't already know that I was featured on one of the largest news networks in the entire planet. I'm happy to announce that this is the start to a new arc, because I was contacted directly by CNN, a CNN employee who wanted to remain anonymous but is directly affiliated with the Five Things Daily Newsletter, reached out to me regarding my newfound place in CNN history. You out there at home can be sure that this was a CNN employee and not some sort of trick, because one, they contacted me through an account that had enough information for me to verify their identity. Two, they sent me this. A fun photo of their CNN security badge with an accompanied doodle of bread. And three, they specifically requested that if I do make a follow-up video, I pass along their statement, which reads, Journalism is good, kids. Now that right there should be sufficient enough, because who in their right mind except a journalist would say that journalism is good? And four, would I lie to you now? After all the dumb, inconceivable shit that I've promised all of you and delivered on time and time again, do you really think I'd start making up bizarre stuff now? For the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to refer to this unnamed employee as CNN for the rest of the video. I want to mention that CNN's message was very cool about the whole ordeal. From what I can tell, they're not going to do any of the shitty things that companies and out-of-touch old people do where they hit me with takedown notices or copyright strikes or other legal harassment bullshit for my follow-up videos. As we all know, the best way to get rid of negative criticism and feedback is to try to silence it entirely. CNN told me this whole fiasco occurred because one of their writers was very tired at 3 a.m. and made a slip up on choosing the correct video for the five things column. Fair enough. But what was next in their message was far more interesting to me. To reassure me that I took the news world by storm and made each and every headline on both their website and television news broadcast, as well as a way to show that they had no problem with my hard and fast roasting of their fuck up, CNN sent me insider info to another fluff video they almost ran on five things, but pulled just before it went live. CNN sent me vacuum cleaner fetish videos. They almost put them on their website. Here's some quotes from the initial message they sent me. I always tell writers to look through the comments on a YouTube video before posting to make sure it isn't something weird or secretly horny. And that's important. Because about a year ago, I saw a video of a vacuum cleaner sucking up jello. Funny, cool, very five things, etc. But I scrolled down and one of the comments gave me pause. CNN went on to explain how plenty of comments in the video were aggressively horny. CNN continues that they went to one where Henry Hoover is sucking up Legos and said, The vibes are ominous. Anyway, we did not use that video in five things and I learned a lot about Henry Hoover that day. Sometimes journalism is bringing the latest on a burgeoning world war, and sometimes it is making sure we don't accidentally include vacuum cleaner kinks or bread piss satire. This has been a learning experience for all. Immediately, as fast as the Speed Racer Mach fucking 5, I asked for links to those videos. I mean, this is my expertise. This is my internet death note. I qualify for sneaky, hidden, in plain sight pornographic videos more than any legitimate sex worker, and thankfully, CNN was happy to oblige. Some of you out there are going to leave with the idea that I'm bullying people for their obscure sexual kinks. Some of you are also stupid. Thankfully for that Venn diagram, those two circles fully overlap. Everyone on Earth can pleasure themselves to nearly anything within reason and in accordance with their local laws. But posting about said masturbation aids publicly on YouTube? Now that's just free reign for a disgusting degenerate like me to start punching down. So let's get started. I was sent four videos. The first one's entitled Jelly Slurp, Jello Through Vacuum Tube, Jelly Sucking Sound for Pookie Cho. I did a little Googling, and Pookie Cho is a novelty Tumblr account that posts jokes and funny, like, screenshots and shit, and apparently uh, requested this video be made. It's really as far as that part goes. But in truth, it's not a very interesting video. 
I almost tore my own asshole in half like a phone book when I found out that jelly slurp jello through vacuum tube is just two minutes of jello being slurped through a vacuum tube. In a shocking turn of events, the last half of the video is the first half played backwards. Probably for the handful of people in the audience who regretted masturbating to a pile of jello being sucked up by a vacuum cleaner and wanted to mentally undo this lustrous process. One of the pinned comments says, The sound it makes sounds like an item collection noise for a food health item in an indie or GameCube N64 3D platformer. Yeah. Probably. If at that moment you got a memory read error and your console caught on fire, I'm not entirely sure how long I'd want to play a game if I heard this noise every time I got a health power up. So nice to have you back, mate. I've missed you. Nice video as always, with a nice messy and sticky task for poor Henry. Devil emoji, star eyes emoji. But almost too easy for him. Yeah, poor Henry, huh? Is the point that he doesn't fucking like it? Is part of the kink that Henry's degraded in doing this work? He's a fucking vacuum cleaner! He was, without exaggeration, made to do this exact job. It's like scratching your clitoral record while watching a video of Gordon Ramsay cooking a roasted chicken and saying, oh god, look how he's gonna do all this work. Oh man, he must be so humiliated cooking this meal. Poor, poor seven Michelin star chef and his beneficial life passions. I expected a slurf whoop, but it was more a gorschlop. I expected civilized debate during my sucking machine sausage slap fest, but I got a grim reminder of YouTube comment standards. Moving on to Henry Vacuums Lego, vacuuming toys, hoovering up Lego. Meaning I can finally say with confidence I found Jackson Clark's hidden spank bank. Nice, especially the clogging parts, winky face. But after all, no real challenge for Henry. Oh, you love it when they don't fit, don't you? When it's too big for that poor little appliance hole? You love it when you just gotta cram it in. When it just doesn't fit. You fucking love it, don't you? I mean, hey, me too. My biggest thing is short stacks. Love the video. And the one with the sweets and the Jenga game too. Please more of them and a bag change after sucking would be nice. Does the stuff go in the trash after being sucked up? The creator responds with, No, never in the trash. Then, where does it go? Isn't that where you empty the vacuum cleaner? So I found another video on their channel where they clean a vacuum cleaner filter with another vacuum cleaner. So I'm just all sorts of confused. Now, wait, why does he want to see the bag changed? So, hey, speaking of cleaning a vacuum cleaner filter with a vacuum cleaner, that's actually the next video that I was sent by CNN. Cleaning Dirty Henry. How to clean a smelly vacuum cleaner. They really had to specify that he was smelly, huh? Now, essentially, I was very confused as to why you'd clean the inside of a vacuum cleaner with another vacuum cleaner, but then I realized if the heavily implied deep lore theories of this being a fetish video are confirmed, then if anything, we just upgraded from a solo messy affair to a Hoover sexual love affair, featuring twice the suck. Super love that cleaning the dust filter and big mess Harry. Heart, heart eyes. Big Mess Henry is coincidentally the name of my favorite diaper porn aficionado. Is it a boy or girl vacuuming the filter? That's a great question. When you're jacking off to vacuum cleaners, you don't want to accidentally be gay. I can't believe you would spend all that time filling another Hoover with the crud because you were too lazy to insert a bag in the first place. And the response? It's never ending. I'm still doing it now. You can't stop this, Wendy. This is bigger than you could possibly imagine. Henry Hoover's Suckathon is a universally blood pastime, and it will be here long after we die. And the final video. High heel emoji. Woman vacuuming large pile of socks. Relaxing ASMR vacuum cleaner sound. White noise for sleep. They show the feet. They show the feet. You gotta get the views. You gotta show the feet. She's wearing stockings, socks, sucking. Showed the feet. It's not a fetish video, I swear. It's not. It's ASMR. But show the feet. Put the, put the feet in the stockings. Show the sexy feet. Get the close-ups of the feet as they vacuum up the socks. Get all the loud noises. Make sure you test the vacuum. ASMR. Sucking noises. Feet. Show the feet. Stockings. Put them in the stocking. Show the stocking feet. Close-up of the feet. Socks go on the feet. Suck up the feet. It's not a fetish video. It's ASMR. It's for sleeping. 
It's only for sleeping. It's just for sleeping. That's why the comments are disabled. It's made for sleeping. Sucking video, ASMR. It's not sexual. Show the feet. I'm done. Because I refuse to show my feet.